How we doing? This is Fox back again for Sound Design Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a uh, super saw lead with Diva. It's using the new digital oscillator that you get within uh, the version 1.3. It's based on a Roland JP8080 or a JV8000. This uh, what made Trance famous. It's every every super saw is sort of based on this. The Vorus, the Axis Vorus that I've got here mimics the super saw from the JP. So yeah, this is the sound that I've got with a little beat. There you have it, lovely, rich, full super source sound. I'm going to go ahead and initialize this. This is what you get when you start. It comes with a triple VCO and everything, so you get like a mini moog. So what we want to do to start is we want to change this to a digital. We want to change this to a high pass F filter pre. I had it on. Change this one to a cascade, which is a digital cross between the MS20 and the digital, and change the amp. ADSR envelope one to digital. We, it, if everything sort of in a digital mode makes it sound the most as you can, like the uh, what we're trying to get out the JP8080. So with just these three turned on, nothing else. First thing we do is back the cutoff right off on the filter so it's open pretty much to maximum. So the resonance up to about 10, change it to the clean mode. We're going to push oscillator 1 up one octave. Same with oscillator 2, push it around to 12. The multi of oscillator 1. Around to about 80, detune these to the left to about 38. I push the multi of oscillator 2 around to the same and the detune to the same, but in the opposite way, it helps it be a bit wider. Sync the two oscillators. Change it to high quality. I'm going to click this multi chord button. Keep the accuracy on fast. You don't really need to go anything higher than that. We're going to change the stack to two. Just back the attack off slightly on the envelope. Just helps the uh, notes fade in without it getting any click. I didn't do anything to ADS2, this is your filter envelope, I didn't use any filter envelope on this. Um, the only thing I did, I uh, went into the trimmers, this stack tuning, because I've got two stacks, these first two we're using, I pushed the first one right, 0.2, and the second one left, 0.2. Just detuning them that way, slightly, makes a hell of a difference. <laughs> Just some simple effects to enhance the sound now. I used a delay on effect one, turned it on. I set the left and the right to both at three. The dryer pulled back slightly from its original position. The side volume I boosted. This is like your mid side EQing on a delay. It's a real neat feature. The wow I pushed around to about 60, and the feedback I pulled it back. So it was only about 13 or 14. Effect 2, I was touring between the chorus and I'd done a reverb, but the reverb worked better, which is this plate. Uh, diffusion and pre-delay I had where they were. I pulled the damping back a bit. And the decay also. The decay right back to about 1920. The size 
to about 100. The wet level where it comes is standard, and I pull the dry back just to de increase the loudness of the wet to about 70. So reverb and delay. <laughs> If you want to make it even rider, you can go crazy. Obviously, the more stacks you use, the wider the sound. I thought it sounded okay with two. It starts chewing up your PCU. I mean, I've got a... 32 gig of memory and an R7 processor and this thing still manages to mess my buffer up. It doesn't max the computer out but it does something with my sound card. So yeah, I generally just don't go any more than uh, two stack, eight voices. Try 16. <laughs> A bit too spacey again. Anything I did do is I changed in the trimmers section. I changed the analog to VCF reset. There you have it. That's as close as you're going to get to a JP8080. This really is an awesome bit of kit, this Diva. I thought it was a bit limited when I first used it, but I'm uh, starting to get the grips with it now. I'll play it through again with that little beat that I made. Turn on this side chain compression just to get it ducking out the way of the kick. Pull the calf down, push the envelope up. take much to turn a super saw into a nice little pluck sound just a bit of envelope but yeah that's it for now anyway that's how i would go about doing a super saw within diva 1.3 using the new digital oscillator uh, as always make sure you subscribe if you've enjoyed this or any more tutorials check me out on uh, facebook and google plus it's sound design tutorials best way to get hold of me if you've got any questions or any requests is tweet me at sound design touch okay thanks a lot cheers <laughs>